Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom texture pack to make your Minecraft dogs look a little bit more like your real life dogs. So to start this one off, you're going to want to open up whatever web browser you use and go to this website up here, minecraft.novaskin.me slash resource packs. I'll have this linked down in the description. And once you get to this website, you're going to want to go over here and you're going to want to go to entities. And we're going to go down here where it says wolf and I'm going to be doing wolf underscore tame. It doesn't really matter. You could rename these later, but otherwise it'll just be when it's a wild wolf. This will be once it's your dog. It has this texture and this is the editor down here. You can choose your colors and we're going to use this software to actually create the texture for our wolf. And once that's done, I'm going to show you how to put it all into a texture pack that you can turn on and off inside your Minecraft world. So in my case, I'm going to start off by coming down here and changing the bucket fill color to a black. And then I'm going to select bucket fill. And I'm just going to fill in all these areas that are actually white because on my dog, they are all black. And as you saw me use a minute ago, you can also come up here and go to the select and select just one area to do. So I'm going to start this off with the legs. I'm not sure which leg is which. Let's see, leg four. This is the one right here. And in the case of my dog, I'm going to come down and he has all black up until right around his paws. So I'm just going to drag this around. You drag around using the left, you hold down left click and just drag your mouse around to drag. And then you can use right click to move things around without rotating. That would be drag. I misspoke a second ago. And you just want to keep filling in these textures until you have your pup. So once you have your little dog all customized how you want him looking like your sweet little pup. You can go up here to save and then under download and when you click save it tells you to just save it as an image that doesn't do anything so what you want to do is just right click click save as image and you can just title this now you want to title this wolf underscore tamed that is very very important if it does not have that name the entire thing falls apart so make sure you give it that title wolf underscore tamed and you can just save that to your downloads folder now, the next thing you're going to want to do is set this up as a resource pack or texture pack. And to do that, I've prepared a file. So if you go down to the description in this video, there is a link to my GitHub page where you can download this custom wolf file. And when you click on that link, it'll bring you to this page here. Once you're here, what you'll want to do is click on code and then go download zip and you can save this file. So now you can hop over to your file manager bring that over onto this screen here and you need to go to your downloads folder. In my case, I'm already there. So what you should have now is this wolf underscore tame dot PNG and this custom dog main dot zip. You're going to want to highlight both of these and you can just cut those control X and then you'll want to go over to your resource packs folder. In my case, this is slash home slash dot local slash share slash multi MC slash instances slash 1.17.1 slash Minecraft slash resource packs, which is a uh, a long, uh, long thing, but wherever yours are stored, it won't be quite as hectic as mine because I'm using custom launcher of the game, but wherever yours are stored, it's typically under dot Minecraft resource packs, wherever you have Minecraft installed. And here you can just create a new folder and we're going to title this custom wolf. So once you have your custom wolf folder, which you could title this anything you want, that's just going to be what it shows up its name as in Minecraft. And here you're going to want to paste those files you got from your downloads folder earlier. And you're going to unpack or extract this zip file here. And once that's done, you can go into this custom dog main into the custom wolf folder. You can copy all this stuff or actually even cut it either way. And then go back out to your custom wolf folder and paste it all out here. And then these two things right here, the custom dog and custom dog zip, they don't need to be there. You can delete those now. And then this wolf underscore tame dot PNG, this is your wolf design. In my case, it's the same as the one we're about to replace it with. We're not really going to replace it because it's the same for me. But for you, this will be whatever you designed your dog to be. You're going to want to cut this. You're going to go into assets, Minecraft, textures, entity, wolf. 
and then you're going to paste it in here. Again, in my case, this is the same as it's telling me right now. File already exists. You can just, I'm just going to overwrite. But in your case, this will be something different. And again, make sure it is titled wolf underscore tame dot PNG. Now, once that's done, you can close out this. You're all done. And all you have to do now is launch Minecraft. In my case, I'm using MultiMC on 1.17.1. So you can launch that. And once the game is running, you're going to want to go under Options, Resource Packs. And then you should have somewhere in here your Custom Wolf over here on the left side. Click on that to enable it and put it on the selected side. Then go Done. And the game will restart itself in a way to reload the resource packs. And then when you go into your world that has your pups in it, you should find, if you go here, textures tests the world for this. And once you log in, your dogs should be customized to whatever texture you set up. Now the collars will still be the same, and there's some other ways to change the collars, but that's not a big deal for me at least. And now you've got your own little custom doggies. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more awesome tutorials as well as Let's Plays in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.